hello viewers at home welcome back to my channel it's been a long time hello viewers at home <clears throat> Hello viewers at home, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharon, popularly known as Alaye. It's been a long two months since I uploaded anything on my channel. And if you're new, you probably haven't, you know, you don't know what's popping. But if you've been here for a while, I am not necessarily sorry for disappearing because I've had to like take time to try and find time for this channel i started this channel during the quarantine lockdown in nigeria and i like had my mind set on f like staying consistent with this channel but i have not been able to find the time between like my real life working a job 8 30 to 5 30 and my weekends for chores helping around trying to get like a few personal things done i have filmed several videos from my last video up until now i think my last video went up in july or in august in july or in august i can't remember but i have so many vlogs waiting i have so many like i even had the ios 14 update video but i couldn't bring myself to edit it i've just been feeling very out of place like i haven't been feeling like myself so i needed to take all the time that i needed to feel better like entirely before i came back here because i don't want to come here and lie and do the whole welcome to my channel my name is sharon and then you guys will think oh her life is so perfect she's so happy i'm happy i'm thankful for life but i am not like i try and make sure i'm in the right frame of mind before i share content i have shared a ton of content on my instagram personal instagram and my business instagram but that is because i create content for like a month in a day legit and then i edit through like as time goes on but for youtube you have to sit down like you really have to sit and edit and that takes like a lot of brain power and i wasn't i wasn't that state of mind anyway if you're nigerian or not you probably have seen the ntars hashtag trending all over social media nigeria now protesters marching against police brutality are gaining worldwide attention protests across the country started after a video circulated last week it reportedly showed members of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, or SARS, fatally shooting a man and then driving off in his car. Nigeria's vice president denounced police violence, but critics say police brutality has been an ongoing issue, particularly with this unit, the SARS unit. Now, the hashtag NSARS was the most trending topic on Twitter on Friday. I think that's that she, she just put rice on fire. I think I brought me and I'm literally standing here. I think that she just put rice on fire. Rude. Are you rude. feeling for her? Then you go to work tomorrow. Yes, so. Um, 
Tomorrow, we are going to catch a flight. I can our flight, Lola. We are going to catch a flight tomorrow. I heard that in Abuja, somebody missed his flight. That they blocked Abuja Airport. Hello? We, all of us, we are going to airport to enter flight tomorrow. And SARS! of October so today makes it exactly one week since the massacre well my lovely country <laughs> and the government have denied the shootings at the Lekito gate they have denied sending out military to take out innocent protesters they have denied any form of violence being ordered from like their levels they have denied any evidence being found up until the Minister of Works came all the way from Abuja to Lagos to a scene, a crime scene that had already been cleaned, investigated, you know, like they had already done all the necessary investigation and they found nothing. As far as I'm concerned, that was not an investigation. What they did was they went to the venue of the protests where innocent people were killed swept cleaned took away any and every form of evidence and then the minister of works comes from abuja and he finds a camcorder in 2020 he finds a camcorder i know people created all sorts of content and people had like their phones 
drones professional cameras people probably even had camcorders but a camcorder is not something you would see in the open and ignore it's not like a smartphone that is like so thin that would easily like blend in with the background a camcorder is you wear it and you're holding it a camcorder is huge but they found a camcorder we're still waiting to hear what more they have to tell us about this camcorder because it's just you see the whole thing is a joke and a lot of um my mates my friends people in like my age group they call us gen z or the millennials i don't know they're two entirely different generations but we have the millennials and we have the gen z and we're the ones that really pushed for the enters movement i can see the other countries are still pushing in solidarity nigeria has in diaspora still fighting for the end of bad governance but here in nigeria precisely lagos we've been shunned like you can't go out like the confidence to go out like before like to go out and protest and SARS and bad government i even like you can't because they're literally waiting for a scapegoat or a group of goods that they are going to you know punish and we as um sorry i'm just all about this we also have some broadcasting companies that have been sued by the government for sharing any form of content on the Leki massacre and on the end size protests so they sued i think ait channels tv and arise tv for false information and the thing is in journalism you would think that you're like an independent body yes i know that the news is regulated of course and there are bodies but the nigerian government sued these three broadcasting companies for a sum of three million naira each and it doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense to anybody i don't think it makes sense i don't nigeria is blessed like we have resources we have talents we have rich 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 cultures nigerians are so resilient like people are going through it in this country like a lot of people probably have one mental illness or the other but like who are so used to acting tough and i'm okay it's okay i'll just take panadol i'll be fine or i'll just take paracetamol and i'll be fine but there is so much more like nigerians are strong and the strength like your strength shouldn't be measured by suffering but like that is how we measure strength here like people have been through so much but they still come out and smile and they still try and just carry on everything will be okay and it's crazy anyway so the main reason i'm filming this video is to tell you that even though we have stopped the protest here in nigeria wherever you are in the world or even if you're here in nigeria there are still ways we can try to push the end of this bad governance we um when i say we i mean like the youth in nigeria we're trying to push for our own democratic party we're trying to push for you know some sort of um like organized group that would help to take out this bad governance if we can't do it now then we would have to wait until 2023 which is exactly three faithful years from now and 
that is when we have the next election presidential elections and like general elections so we have to try and build and grow so just try and read up i'm going to put some links in the description box try and read up on the progress made so far and the things that we still need to do and help in any way that you can if there are links you have seen from other content creators or from your friends from your family try and help please nigeria is well the whole of africa actually is in peril and yes we know god is going to save us we know god is going to come through for us god is a faithful god but we have to like physically do what we can because faith without works is faith without works is nothing you have to you have faith yes but you have to work and then pray over that work you have done or you pray before you go to work you ask for wisdom and then everything would like fall into place we can't just sit back and hope that one day the country will break free you have to put in effort and we have to do the best that we can so on my instagram i shared a video and i call it the um pros and cons of moving to canada so according to this post i'll just insert it here <laughs> Hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here this video is the pros and cons of moving to Canada don't forget to comment like and subscribe so according to this post I am in Canada but I'm actually not. I'm in Nigeria <laughs> and I created this vlog-ish content because I realized that as much as we're trying to fight for like a better country and a better future for Nigeria, people are still going to run. I'm not saying run like run, but like people are still going to relocate. People are going to find some sort of better life for themselves because there's only so much you can take and after like all the efforts we put into organizing ourselves trying to make the protest as peaceful as possible before thugs were like infiltrating the protest before all the violence started <laughs> Police used tear gas to disperse crowds on Friday in the capital. Our president comes and gives us his speech. The president, commander-in-chief of the armed forces... For many concerned Nigerians, and having concluded a meeting with all the security chiefs, I must warn those who have hijacked and misdirected the initial, genuine and well-intended protest of some of our youth in parts of the country. And it's basically making a gist of our efforts, calling us so-called protesters. How? So what we're doing right now is just laying low, not necessarily laying low, but taking actions now that would have ripple effects. So we're trying to just educate ourselves and like proper strategy like that would help us to i won't say run the government over but like take back the country from the elderly people our president is over 80 years old and i know it's sadly it's like an african thing leaders always try to stay in power till they die or till they are overthrown we haven't been able to like break free from like bad governance in general but we're still going to keep trying. We're still going to just do our best. So for people that were very interested, I actually did research for you guys. I took I took the time 
it and i just had a general consensus of like what to say in this video so it's not just banter like i'm actually going to give you tips that would assist you i hope in um finding a better life a better future for your self for your family for your friends for your siblings for a job for whatever whatever makes you happy so i am going to share these pros and cons um of moving to canada and yeah okay guys so this video was too long apparently so the pros and cons i'm going to add it to the end screen so you can just click on it and like keep watching from there